I became a landscape architect because uh, as I was finishing my master's in architecture, I realized the scale at which landscape architecture could be an agent for positive change of the preservation of large-scale ecologies. When I'm considering a project, we take the greatest inspiration from the unique opportunities for a project to be an agent for change in stitching together ecologies that might have been disrupted or broken. And I think I could give that same answer to the question of culture. When histories have been disrupted or erased or told by the winner. When we start large-scale projects, we begin with a biodiversity survey. So we'll bring a team of conservation biologists onto a property to build a kind of ecological portrait of a site. Simultaneously, my staff, or sometimes with historian consultants, will start to look at the history of deeds, uh, early occupation. Whatever country we're working in, we seek to understand what has been the pattern of occupation by many people over long periods of time of that landscape. So that's really the first step, is to listen. To listen to the land very, very carefully. Engagement with the ecosystems of a site are uh, one of the most critical roles landscape architecture can play. I think we need to always push to uh, be the stewards of an ecosystem uh, with beautiful creativity and design, uh, not be satisfied with just strict restoration ecology, but how do we make that restoration evident and beautiful and something people see and understand because if we can build that relationship of understanding, the public will care for the stormwater management systems or the riparian corridors or the things that we design and build. Internationally, I'm seeing very hopeful signs that people are tired of the generation of pattern makers that just add lumps and mounds and stripes to the landscape and that the landscape should be about more than that. We have so many powerful stories to tell um, about place and the history of place. And I think that um, very graphic kind of landscape architecture that intentionally pushed away from history and away from ecology is really ending. And we're in a new, a new generation of designers who care very much about the stewardship of land and the stewardship of story.